Hello everyone, welcome to Twins Fishing. This is just a little review of the bits and bobs I've got for my pike fishing. I'm massively into my pike fishing at the minute. Pike and perch just now proper hit me. Um, winter's upon us. The autumns are drawing in quick and then winter's going to be upon us. And um, yeah, lure fishing for pike with my bait casters, lure rods and my pike stuff is something I'm massively into. So what I want to do is I want to show you a few bits of what I've got and some of my new bits and the new bait caster which is really nice which you can acquire from birds tackle in great blakenham they've got the full range of um loose multipliers so i'll show you first here it is my lovely little multiplier this is the Lose Match One Speed Sport SLP retails at $109.99. It's got, as you can see from real slow wind, look, it's got a super fast retrieval on it, absolutely super fast. It's got a 15 pound drag, which is perfect for all the pike and perch and stuff I need in my rivers. Um, 7 plus 5 plus 1 gear ratio, which is very good gearing. And if it remind me, which you always forget when you're on video, where are we? It has seven plus one ball bearings. Only weighs 207 grams, which is absolutely fantastic, I think. Uh, this will be a lovely little addition to my uh, Fox Rage 40 to 80 gram rod. I think it's 20, 20 to 80 gram. Uh, it's for all smaller lures, right up to the... Uh, the bigger lures which i'm going to show you now uh right so yeah that's a fantastic little reel really fast retrieve not massively going to break the bank 109.99 but a fantastic reel for the money go look at the reviews they are absolutely superb really nice you can get custom handles for them and everything it's got the mag mags on the side to change so you can go from it's the most subtle subtle so it's the most subtle of changes uh but Clicks in, all comes out. It's a beautiful, beautiful wheel. So I've also got some new lures I'm going to try this winter, which I'm mega excited about. I'm also going to get a few more. Uh, where should we start? So we'll st I think we'll start at the Ultra UV Pro Shad Jointed Fox. These are absolutely fantastic. As you, that's got a four gram belly weight. They're, they're jointed. I've just got one out of the packet. Let me show you another colour. I've got three different colours. These are jointed. So when they're going through the water, they're like that. And they are fantastic. Also, you can use these as kind of like a jerk bait. If you jerk them, they go to the left and to the right. And they joint as well. They turn and they flash. These are a fantastic weight. These are 14 centimetre. Uh, 31 grams in weight overall. Size one treble hooks on them, real nice and sharp. The treble does come out of the bottom like that and it hangs down if you like to do it like that, but I don't like to do it like that. I just like to nick it in the belly there. Just nick the point in the belly like that. Ideally, I would like one tiny bit further down the one up here. I might put one on. Um, I don't know yet. We'll see how we get on from them. They're only five and a half inches, so any point's going to smash these. And they've got this woven material inside, if you can see that there, look. So when a pipe smashes them, that won't rip it in half, which is fantastic. So I've got this one in, um, oh, I can't remember what this one is. Oh, for the life of me, I can't remember what it is. But you, you that's a natural colour in it. Very, very natural for a nice clear water. Then I've got it in um, perch, because all rivers have got perch in, jointed again. Same size, same colour. Then I've also got it in stickleback. Uh, this is another lovely colour in coloured water and stuff like that. If you look really closely, you can see just in there where the spike is for the belly weight. This belly weight sticks in. They say you need the belly weight for it to wobble, but um, DB Fishing on YouTube uses it without the belly weight and it still wobbles. It's very good, very good. So that's them in them three colours. Also, what I thought I'd try, this is a little bit lighter. Um, this is the Fire Tiger Fox Rage. Um, I suppose it's a spinner with a skirt on. 
So a spinner with the skirted um, jig on, with the nice weighted head. Two spinners, big one and a small one. These are really attractive coming through the water like that. Pike absolutely love them. And also when this comes through the weed, this pushes the weed out of the way, which masks the hook. So it doesn't, um, she won't necessarily get too much. Most of my rivers at the minute have got cabbages in. So these are ideal for that. And then the final one, which costs a couple of quid, but I'm looking forward to using, is the Salmo Slider 7, Bleeding Blue Shad. This is a 7 centimetre, 21 gram. This is absolutely fantastic. Look at that flash of colour on that. Look, watch out, look. You imagine that going through the water. It goes through like this, so it goes through there, right, there, right, there, right. Just little jigs on the, on the rod tip, left, right, left, right. Fantastic piece of kit. Um, so I'll tell you now, I'm going to jinx myself probably, but I'm going to do it. I'll tell you now. My twins fishing goal for this winter is a £20 pike and a £3 perch. On the 14th of November, I'm going to Nottingham. No, where am I going? No, Northampton, sorry. I'm going Northampton on the pike and perch hunt with a couple of friends. So I'm expecting, hopefully, fingers crossed, to get my big perch there. But Suffolk Waters have got some fantastic pike in. I don't care if I catch it on a dead bait. I'll be doing a lot of dead baiting as well. I'll talk you through that. Dead bait, live bait. Um, so my goal this year is a £20 plus pike, £20 or plus, and a £3 perch. You heard it here first. Yeah, so that's, um, that's that. Um, last of all, I bought some stingers. They're basically like stingers. The Savage Gear last meter. Um, you can use them as a stinger. Obviously, put them on the end. Or you can just clip them on the front of the nose and clip under the belly. Um, it's entirely up to you. Sometimes what I'll do on these sliders, on these other ones that ain't got them, like just a jig on its own, I'll clip that on there. And I'll, I'll put a big SSG shot in the centre. And that'll weight the shad. But as you can see, these are... I'm really looking forward to using these. I haven't used them yet. But they are meant to be amazing. So, yeah. Stay tuned. Keep an eye out. Anything you need, um, you can message the page. Any of the laws you like or the reel, you can message the page. I work at Birds Tackle on the weekends. So, I'll be able to sort you something out. Until then, take care. And you'll be seeing me in the next video, hopefully, next week, doing some pipe fishing on my local river. Trust Queen's Fishing, we'll talk to you soon. See you then.